day two at Jet Two Lodge down here with Set Fly Fishing. Uh, it was a, a very different story than yesterday. Uh, yesterday there was some light rain. We were in the marsh protected from the wind uh, and got into 20 plus fish and saw Dorado's tailing like redfish and rolling like tarpon. Uh, and it was a, a huge learning experience. Today, Tetsy and I talked, it's my last day here. The talk was trying to find a trophy Dorado. So we were gonna head out to the Paraná River and get after it. Um, he let me know it was gonna be much more challenging and it's uh, a diff different type of fishing because it is so challenging. Blind casting all over banks, uh, swinging flies like steelhead towards structure that's in the river. Um, and you're actually swinging down like past it and then stripping up around it so that the, the stream will come right in front of the object because that's where the Dorado like to hang out. Um, and it was, it was a day of a thousand casts um, and started off with some hellacious weather. Uh, we had thunderstorms and lightning on the drive out. It was what I would consider a monsoon or heavy rain all morning real windy um and that's you know when the big dorados like to come out and play but also when you got to earn it so we fished all morning uh mud lines kind of getting the fly back into the black water by the lagoons and stripping it into the mud line because that's how bait fish are coming out of the lagoon and the dorado sit there we got into five or six dorado in the morning that were were not big um but were definitely very welcomed and got the skunk off and kept moving. Uh, we had lunch on an island and had some great food that uh, Adrian and, and the team prepared, hung out under some trees, got out of the, the rain for a little while, um, and then got right back at it. Kind of got not really sunny, but it stopped raining and the clouds were a little bit more sparse. Um, the wind died down for a little bit and got after it again. We moved into a zone <clears throat> that had some uh, trees and things that are sticking up out of the water. And, you know, when, when we're fishing in the States and fishing for trout, you're usually trying to get behind that run or down in the zone behind the structure. And here fishing for the Dorado, you're actually swinging the fly right in front of that structure and you're, you know, casting across it and then stripping it up and trying to get that fly to get right past that structure, right in front of it and come out. So there's a, an aggression eat by a Dorado. And the first one we got into, uh, pretty much the last cast that we had to get across it, all of a sudden had a big wake, a nice follow, uh, no, short, no short strikes, no eats on that one, but at least we got some action. So decided to stay in the zone and floated down another 150 yards or so. Um, and it almost looked like an upside down tree you know a bunch of roots and trunks and stuff sticking out of the top um, first three or four floats right through it didn't get anything all of a sudden the last one that we had from the front trying to pull it in front all of a sudden I thought I, I snagged the tree it was such a thud um, set it again real hard and all of a sudden this big Dorado comes out in between the branches shaking its head and going crazy slaps set it again one more time just to be sure jumps a second time goes under and starts taking off you know from from left to right in front of us and the third jump comes out of the water and a head shake and you just saw the fly come right out float in the air the rado hit the water disappeared forever but those five to seven seconds were uh were awesome finally feeling what a, a trophy dorado feels like and just how aggressive the eat is how fast they move how much they jump. Um, it was cool, but heartbreaking all at the same time. Uh, and the rest of the day we finished off just casting anywhere and, and anywhere we could find structure like that again to try to replicate it. Um, we were out from 7.30 this morning until 6.45 or seven. We did have that hour and a half long break just to try to get dry and get out of the rain for lunch. Um, Drove back through the Paraná River and the marshlands to, uh, back to the lodge. Sunset happening through the clouds um, and an unbelievable dinner. Again, can't say uh, thank you enough to the, the staff here.